hello guys welcome to the another video in rust programming tutorial this is the seventh video in this tutorial in the last video we have discussed about the if else and the match match which is equivalent to the switch case in other programming languages so in this video we are going to discuss about the loops like for loop while loop the inbuilt infinite loop in the rust as well as the break and continue statements those things we will discuss I have already uh, typed everything whatever I am going to discuss because these are like a, a simple topics so typing and explaining it will take a lot of time since uh, it can it can be easily understandable so that I just have the code ready guys please see the content in our channel if it finds useful for you or your friends please uh, share it with them and also uh, subscribe and like the video okay now uh, let's come to our topic okay first we will discuss about the loops actually the rust has like uh, uh, the following loops as i mentioned here like loop is a keyword while is a keyword for is a keyword uh, the loop is if you give anything with a loop which is equivalent to the infinite loop how we do that in the c long ways like just have like for or while have the uh, the semicolons so that it will run forever so in the same way we have while if the condition is true the while loop it went in went inside the while loop and execute the, executes the statements and also similarly the for loop okay so now uh, i have taken one function like demo loops so the first one is like a loop which is as i told it which is equivalent to the infinite loop if I execute this, this println statement, whatever we have here, this loop will go on forever. Hit Control C to stop me. So this will execute forever. Okay. Let me do that. This project is created using Cargo. So if you give Cargo run, it will be executed. Upon printing this, if I hit Control C, then only then only it will get stopped. You see this so it got stopped after uh, hitting the control C okay so this is about the infinite loops whenever we want infinite loops and you wanted to break it when inside some condition hits then only you wanted to break it you can use this kind of uh, infinite loops okay uh, let me comment out so basically I will comment out whatever we have discussed and I will uncomment the other things which we are going to discuss okay so next we are going to discuss about the while loops while loops are simple like here we care we have taken like let mutable so here you see this we have used the mut keyword so that we can uh, change its value uh, whenever we want okay let mut i equal to zero so this is an integer value now i less than 10 while of i less than 10 we no need to give any parenthesis around this i less than 10 so but we should give the blocks the curly braces we should give so now uh, we have a placeholder like this curly braces and we are printing i and i plus one we are doing here whenever the while condition gets false so that it will uh, stop the uh, stops the loop okay so that means basically whenever the i becomes 10 10 less than 10 is a false case until then the loop will get executed so let me execute this so it is printed from 1 to 9 how the while loops works so now we'll comment this the next one is a for loop in the for loop uh, basically we will mention if you are from the c long ways we will give like i equal to 0 i less than so and so value the condition and we will increment that uh, variable plus plus right so here also it will works in the same way so here it is like a for i in 0 that is this is called range 0 to 10 so this is like the upper bound is exclusive so if you give like this the upper bound is exclusive you, you are just taking from 0 to 9 only so this is how we should mention the range the i value will automatically get incremented so from 0 to 10 it will take the i okay now let's execute and see you can see from 0 to 9 it got executed okay so 
this is like a upper bound exclusive we have another example with upper bound inclusive so this is you should give like this example with upper bound exclusive so if you wanted to include the upper bound the 10 value also within the loop you should give after this dot dot you should give the equal to then it will consider that the upper bound value whatever you give okay so if again it will print from 0 to 10 now let's execute this yeah we can it is executed from 0 to 10 okay Again, uh, with a for loop only so what if you have like array of elements like these are like an integer uh, array elements so uh, these five elements if you wanted to iterate, iterate over this array so using the for loop we can do like this for element in the array which is like similar to the uh, almost like uh, Python long ways you know right if you have some list in the Python how do we iterate like for element in the list in list the same way so but python has like curly braces there it will be like an indentation so here it is like the similar way for element in the array print ln each element we are going to print it cool let's execute and check it out using a for loop over an array it is printed 95 it is printed 99.55 9582 okay so this is about the loops uh, so we have basically the infinite loop while loop and for loop in the rush long ways so uh, now discuss about the break and continue like those are like similar to the other languages we need break to exit a loop immediately continue like terminate the current uh, iteration and start the next one like just uh, continue uh, don't execute the current uh, statements whatever below that it won't execute and it will go for the next uh, iteration like okay so you can use break and continue in the nested loops as well like so in the rust we have something called label a loop so you will have nested loops like one for loop inside that one more for loop we have we might have seen in the many programming languages right so in the same way you have a loop inside once again you have a uh, one more loop outer loop inner loop you wanted to break or continue the inner loop or outer loop condition you can do that how do you do that via the syntax like break the outer loop so we will give a label like outer inner so whenever you give, give syntax something like this break outer it will completely breaks both the loops like both inner and outer if without this uh, label you can just it will it will be like same as the other programming languages it will be uh, within that loop itself okay so now we will see that examples as well okay let's take for example uh, we have something like break and continue in a single example so here let's take array like the elements we have like five elements 99 45 85 100 and 82 so we are running a for loop if the element is equal to equal to 100 uh, we are saying like we found the we found 100 so that we, we are going to break it out otherwise like if the element is less than uh, uh, 50 we are saying that just continue so just go to the next one don't print the element so here we have uh, one print like printing each element right so if it is less than 50 it will not print it will just simply uh, go to the next iteration okay so now uh, let's execute this and see initially it is printed 99 and after that 45 the next iteration we have 45 which is less than the 50 so that we have this print and we have continued to the next one so in, uh, after that it is printed uh, 85 and in the fourth iteration it found 100 so that it is breaking the loop okay so this is how like it is similar to the other programming languages so the next one we have called something like a nested loops uh, let me comment out this yeah 
so as we see here this is a nested loop we have one loop which is outer loop we have entered the outer loop and then we have inside one one more loop this is a inner loop so here we see that we have mentioned break outer so whenever it comes inside we are simply giving break the outer so that we are saying to break the outer loop so it will break both inner and outer loop so that's why uh, we are going to have one printout and we are saying this this point will be never reached in this example but let's skip it and execute it so once we uh, broke this we will directly print exited the outer loop and we are going to end this we got one warning unreachable code okay we got a warning like unreachable statement at line number 69 so that's why initially i commented out but to show this i just uh, uncommented out so it is giving a warning that it is an unreachable statement like if we are giving break outer any code following this expression is unreachable so that's what it is giving as a warning and then it is printing like it is entered the outer loop it is entered the inner loop and it is exited the outer loop and we are printing the end okay so with this we have completed the loops break and continue load this code in the github from there you can download it and you can try with more examples i hope this video is helpful so please uh, subscribe to the channel and like the video and hit the bell icon and please share it with your friends whoever are uh, interested in the rust programming languages thank you